which I, we don't throw away too many two goals leads with you in charge and I can't quite comprehend how it's just happened out there today can you? No not at all really um, well my assumption of the game is that obviously first half it's a little bit bitty there's not really a good rhythm to it or good tempo um, we score two good goals good anticipation from Alex and then obviously Cody scores a very good goal when he runs through in 1v1 which you expect him and we know the net's going to ripple probably at 2-0 and then the message at half time you know what I'm going to say is that it's a really tricky scoreline but we need to make sure that we go and do a job second half we don't be complacent but I've got to say I think that was probably the traits that came out in the group we we looked a little bit void of ideas um, we didn't play to our strength they had a very high line we'd played with no quality I felt the balls that we were trying to put over the top or in were either hooked into goalkeepers running through or we were offside so there was no quality in that um, and we looked too open uh, we, had to, we had to change it actually because they started dominating us in midfield as well which is, which is very rare for a side to do that against us um, and it caused us some issues in the end so certainly a game of, of two halves really where you see that we're in no trouble first half and we're quite comfortable but second half nowhere near the level really I've told the group there in no uncertain terms because they've had a lot of praise off me but that isn't acceptable to go and dish that out second half in that 45 minutes because they're very lucky that we've got another opportunity um, to, to go through Yeah you have the other opportunity on, on Tuesday night very different surroundings you think it's going to be a different type of game? Well obviously because of that it's um, no disrespect I've never been there so I don't know but I know it's a village and I know, um, I know it's going to be difficult. You're away from home on a Tuesday. The lads will have to go to work and be ready for it. Um, but they've put themselves in that situation. No one else. Um, it's, it's a team that's won a lot of games this season, us. And it's a team that's in very good confidence. But that was too lackadaisical. It was too, too passive, too timid. Not enough character. Not enough determination to run. Not enough um, nice and ability to go and get on the ball when we got four in the midfield two strikers up top we can't be reliant upon our strikers um, they're scoring goals every game we haven't kept a clean sheet apart from Farnborough so that's an issue you need to keep clean sheets because if you keep clean sheets you win more games than you lose obviously and today was a prime example of that if you kept a clean sheet you go through to the next round of the cup we weren't able to do it and even though their second goal is a bit of a wonder strike it's happened just in front of us by the dugout they've spun out they've played a pass no one's engaged and he's managed to put it in the top corner so yeah, not good enough at all. Um, the players need to realise that. You find out about your group now. I was waiting for this moment. Um, and it's up to them now to come and do a job because I said they deserve, they, the club deserves to go through and we owe the club in the first couple of rounds. And those boys know it now. So hook or by crook, they'll have to come and get a result on Tuesday. Elliot Freer was back in today, his first start since the Eastbourne games. I understand you said pre-match Scott Wilson had a bit of a knock. Yeah, I think we missed him. That's another thing we can't... When we put people in... We need to be just as strong as we do when we've had the players that are starting. So Scott's got a slightly stiff groin, tight groin. Didn't want to risk it today. Um, the physio department weren't comfortable with me putting him on. Obviously, I would have put him on, but they weren't comfortable with that. Um, but the changes we made really didn't, didn't really make the team any more dynamic, didn't improve us. Um, but that has to happen. I want players to go on there and make the team better. That's why they're there. So, like I said, this is a big challenge now. It's not doom and gloom. There's no... We haven't gone out of the cup, we're still in the cup, we're in a very good position in the league. But it's a nice little reality check, if you like, for the group and for the team. And let's go and see what they're all about, because on Tuesday, as we just said, the attitude needs to be right first and foremost. You'll have to run better than them. They've probably seen a little, little jink in our armour, if you like, tonight, so they'll be well up for it. Um, and we have to be ready for it. Yeah, expecting a, a tough one down there. They're not going to roll out for a team that's near the bottom of the Southern Premier side. They didn't look like it, I didn't think. No, I thought, I thought they looked a good side. And... Um, Obviously, when they come to Twerton Park, they're going to raise their game. We know what this place does to teams. They turn up, the pitch is good, the stadium's good, there's a big crowd. I've been there before on the other end of it, and you understand what it's all about. And sometimes you get that extra couple of yards. But we should never really give them an opportunity to get back in that game, Mark, if I'm being honest. But once the first goal goes in, then there is an opportunity for them, and they smell blood. We couldn't deal with that. We weren't good enough to deal with it. And, um, yeah, as I said, we have to go and we have to play a replay now on Tuesday, which we didn't want to do, of course, but we have to do now. And um, like I said, from now on right through to Tuesday, they'll, they'll have to be ready, our boys. If they're not, then they'll get a rude awakening. We knew what they were all about. It didn't, nothing changed. We knew they were going to go into the front early. They went to their strengths and they're going to do that twofold on, um, on Tuesday for sure. I actually thought our back four played really well, but there was too many runners coming off the midfield. Too much pressure for them. Um, 
and in the end we concede two goals which as I said is not acceptable Thanks for speaking to us and we'll see you again on Tuesday night Cheers, thanks man. Thanks.